Welcome to Ridge Life. Today we're going to learn how to tan a raccoon tail. We got one right here in the trap. We're going to take care of him, bring him back, and we'll show you how to do it. So stick around. Got a big male here. We'll take him in, get that tail off there, get it off the bone, and we'll show you how to tan it. Welcome back. We're up here at the barn. Now we've got our raccoon, we've got the materials we're going to need to start the first step in tanning the tail. Now I've got my tail cutter, my tail stripper, and I've got a video on how to use both of those uh, also in my playlist. And once we get the tail off, we're going to put salt in it. And this is a, um, a hard straw from like a uh, tumbler or a drink. So uh, obviously we're not going to use this again, but what I'm going to do is use this to put the salt down in the tail. Like I showed before in another video how to take the tail off using this tool, we're just going to slice around the base until we get access to the bone. I have the tool around the tail, skin peeled back. I've got the raccoon um, secured on my uh, bed here, my Kubota. I'm just going to pull away, pull the tail away. Okay, as it comes off, it just slides off the tailbone. There's the tailbone, and here's the tail. Once we get the tail off, you can see we have a nice clean hole. There's no meat around the outside of it. I'm going to insert that tube and then pour the salt in. Okay, it's easy enough just to insert this tube, and you can see it's going to go all the way down. Once I get it all the way, I know it's at the end of the cavity, all the way down there. Now I can start pouring the salt in and I'll pull this up as the salt goes through. This can be easier if I had a funnel. I didn't bring my funnel with me right now, so I'm just going to cut my fingers around it and start pouring the salt in as it goes down. And once it fills the straw up, I'll be able to slowly pull the straw out. So as you can see, the straw is full of the raccoon tail, okay? So as I start to pull pull it out, salt will start to go down. Then we go down. As it goes down, I'm just doing it about a centimeter at a time. That's to ensure it gets full salt all the way down. You can see it's going down as I go. This is an easy way to do it. And of course, if I had a funnel, that would have been easier to fill it up. But you see, it doesn't take much to get it. And there's not much void in there for the salt to have to fill. Get it all in there. Once I get to the top, and that's all she wrote. All right. All right, so now, shake it around. Make sure that salt gets all evenly through there. Now what I'm gonna do now is just let that salt sit in there for a couple days. Once, once I'm sure that, that salt's cured any type of tissue that's in there, then I'm gonna wash it out, and then we're gonna put tanning solution in it. So after a day or so, I'll come back and I'll show you how that happens. Welcome back. We've had our raccoon tail uh, stuffed with salt for a couple days. You can see all the salt inside there and that's kept it um, flexible and what that salt does it um, keeps the, what any meat tissues that, that's in there from uh, bacteria from degrading it and turning it rotten. It also keeps the any fatty tissue in there from getting rancid. keeps the hair from falling out. So uh, now that that's sat there for a couple days we're going to um, get a salt bath and it's a half a pound to a gallon, half a pound of salt table salt to a gallon of water and you can reduce that down if you're only doing one tail you can just get a small amount but that's the ratio you want um, and then you can wash this out really good and we're going to leave it soaking for six to eight hours in that salt bath once you do that you want to rinse it off really well and you can use a dawn dishwashing detergent or something to any oils that are inside there and you know we'll get all those oils off so we'll rinse it off real good and then we'll let that dry um, overnight. Now the next day is when we start doing the tanning solution and uh, we'll check back on that. That ratio for the salt was half a pound of salt 
to one gallon of water. So I have a half a gallon of water in here, which is more than enough for this one little tail. And so that would just be a quarter pound of salt. Of course, I've already got that figured out here. So we'll just get a quarter pound of salt. Okay, so I'm going to mix that up. This is warm water here. A quarter pound to a half gallon. And that salt is all dry or uh, dissolved. Okay, now I'm going to put my raccoon tail stuffed with salt inside here, and then I'm going to I'm going to start getting that all the way in there, washing it. You can see. So basically, it's going to saturate in and out. I'm just going here, getting it filled full of the water, inside and out. See, it's full water, and the water comes out. Full water. I'm just going to keep rinse it real good in this salt bath. Just going to get it saturated with salt water both inside and out. I'm going to continue to do that a little bit longer, but uh, I don't think you need to see me uh, keep rinsing that. So we're going to uh, let that stick six to eight hours, then we're going to hang it to dry, and then the next day we're going to put the tanning solution on it. So we'll come back for that. So we'll see you then. We've got our raccoon tail. It's been hang drying for the past day. That's after having it in the salt bath. Now we've got our Deer Hunters and Trappers Hide Tanning Formula. This is the orange bottle. It's a famous thing. We're going to apply this to actually tan the hide. Before we apply the, the tanning solution, we need to have some hot tap water. We're going to soak the bottle in the hot tap water for 30 minutes. We've had our tanning solution soaking for 30 minutes in hot tap water. We've shake, shaken it up really good before we put it in there, and we'll shake it up real good now. What we're going to do is I'm going to use the straw we used to put the salt in to also pour in the tanning solution. So I'll pour it in and let it fill all the way up on the inside, and then I'm going to rub the outside with it also. Have the straw down in the tail, and I'm going to fill the straw with the tanning solution. Right, the straw is full of the tanning solution, and as I lift it up, it'll come up. I'll come closer to you so you can see that. You can see the tanning solution in the straw, and as I lift, the level goes down. Goes down, goes down, goes down. Okay, I'm going to do this two or three times until the tail is full. Okay, so now the tail is full. I'm going to just pour some on the top here, and then... With rubber gloves, I'm just going to work that in all of this top skin right here. I want it to be worked in real good. This is the thickest, fattiest area right here. And that's what's going to really need a good, good uh, coating of the tanning solution. I've got this full. Now I'm going to just lay it in the bucket. I'm going to pour some on the outside of the tail. All around the top. And I'm just going to work it in. Because there's some exposed skin right there. And I'm just going to do a little bit down each side of the tail and then work that into the skin. Just like you're massaging your scalp. One last time I'm going to fill it up one more time with a solution and then we'll be done. I'm just going to let it sit down here in this bucket. Let that sit. I'm going to leave it about 12 to 16 hours. Welcome back everyone. As you can see we've got a beautiful raccoon tail here. It's all supple and pliable. It is tanned, but the last step is a secret step. And this is one you can't, you got to make sure your wife does not know you're doing because it's one of the most important steps and it's something that could get you in trouble. So what you got to do is you got to bring the raccoon tail into your house, into your master bathroom, and then what you do is you get it in a sink and you get hot water going and you have to get your wife's shampoo and conditioner. The good stuff, you know, the, the luxury, it's called 
moisture, more luxurious moisture, seven times moisture rich. You want that good stuff like that. Whatever's the most expensive stuff she's got in the house, what you're going to do is you're going to shampoo and condition your raccoon tail. Make it all shiny and fluffy and we'll get it uh, blow dried and it's just going to be a beautiful, beautiful decorative piece. We've got hot water running. We're going to uh, rinse out the inside and the outside of our raccoon tail. Get it in here. Turn our water off. Now let's get some of that expensive old shampoo here and just lather it up. Lather it up. Lather it up. And you can see this tail has been off this raccoon for, for days and days now and it, the hair is not falling out. If we wouldn't have tanned it, cured it with the salt and tanned it, this thing would just be falling apart in my hand. And I'm putting it in the water here and there's hardly any fur hairs coming out of this skin so this is just awesome so just gonna get all this soap all through there luxurious moisture seven times luxurious moisture rich whatever that means i have no idea i don't know what the difference between men's shampoo and women's shampoo or luxurious whatever you call it but uh apparently it means something because it costs a lot more right so all right got that rinsed out let's get the water out of there so the next thing we're going to do is put this to, it's damp. We're going to put the conditioner in here. Get it all lathered up. Apparently you need a lot because women use big bottles of conditioner, right? I don't understand that either, but I guess they have lots more hair. Uh, I don't have much hair, so I don't really have that problem, but let's get the conditioner all in here and uh, get it all lathered in. I guess you only have lather with conditioner, do you? But I'll just condition that all around. Just got, there we go, and uh, let's make sure it's all up in the hair. All righty, all right. I think that's good enough. Now we're going to rinse it off. Rinse the conditioner off. I'll clean the inside of the. One more time, you see how that looks right there? That's just, that's just tan skin. There's a little bit of uh, more skin there, but as long as it stays supple and doesn't get hard, you know you've got it tanned right. If this starts to get hard and, and crispy, I'm, I'm gonna have to uh, re-tan this, put, apply, apply a little bit more of a tanning solution, but right now everything's good. All right, so just gonna light rinse. Now, how about we blow dry it? Ooh, we use the wife's blow dryer. That gets in real trouble. All right, we've got our blow dryer here. Let's uh, get this on and get it uh, dried off and see what it looks like. We have our raccoon tail blow dried. It's all nice and fluffy. Now here's the last secret step. You grab your wife's best brush, the one she does her hair with, you know, over and over each night, and you want to do it with her, your wife's best brush. So here's what, no, I'm just kidding. This is our dog's brush. If you grab your wife's brush, yeah, you can grab her shampoo and her conditioner, but if you grab her brush and do this, you're going to be in big, big trouble. So do not, do not, Ridge Life does, does not say use your wife's brush, but so here's a dog brush. I'm going to start with the, the coarse one first, and you just want to and just get any of the burr, you know, there shouldn't be any burrs or anything left in here, but we're just going to get it all straightened out. You can go, oops, you can go and just go down with it, down with the fur. And this is going to make it nice and straight. You can see the hair is not falling out. That's what's, that's amazing because, you know, I, I, I cut a couple off before and dig, didn't get around to tanning them. And man, they just, just the hair just falls out in clumps, just in clumps. But you just want to fluff it up, okay, and then use the, the other side of the brush, and this is what really, really makes it pretty. So, it's like when you see those uh, coonskin caps, the fur has just been just made all fluffy and dry. You know, the 
We got the moisture up the conditioner on there just made it look good but alrighty I think that's a big fluffy tail right there we finished our raccoon tail I think it turned out really nicely it's uh, fluffy soft smells good uh, I'm gonna hang it up here in the office uh, you should see us doing coyote tail soon fox tail both red and gray and maybe even a skunk so we're gonna hang it up here in the office and uh, very proud of it and hope you enjoyed uh, doing this with it with us until next time hope everyone has a blessed blessed day and go reach life